what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna cut everything on this out of here. Go ahead and play it on it. Put a crazy piece of love on it. Be a lot simpler. Easier to work on. Alright, so got all this out of the way. Motor, gas tank, little cargo rack, uh, dashboard, a bunch of little pieces, wiring, hoses. Um, got all this ground back smooth. I still got a little spot right here I gotta get. Kind of messed up right here. I just cut one side of the weld off and tried to break it off with a hammer and it popped the whole top out of it. So I'll, just, I'll probably just uh, cut a piece of this tubing in half, put over it, and weld it all the way around. 
It's got this little support on the bottom. It'll probably be alright, but you gotta close that hole up. Um, got a couple pieces off the front that deleted that dashboard. Pretty much just cutting anything off of it that would make it harder to work on or whatever. Let's see, I got I got this frame, another frame just like it. Let's see, we'll walk back here real quick. I got that yellow frame, this red one. This extra yellow one for parts. And this adult size buggy for 200 bucks. So whatever, if I can make one, two, if I can make three running ones out of it, have a couple hundred bucks a piece in them. That big buggy probably be a little more expensive. It's got brakes all the way around. This one's got brakes all the way around too. It's a little bit too big for my kids. I might do the same thing to this one. With like a Predator and it's like a stage one kit. And sell it or just keep it to play around on. I don't know yet. On this one, I might do like a, a 670 or something. Do the same, same thing, cut all that stuff out. Might just rebuild a whole back end for this one. Just start over. Wheels and tires. New swing arm set up, new shocks. That's farther in the future though. One thing at a time. I ordered an engine plate and I got a 212 coming in the mail. I got another 212 coming for this mini bike. I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with that, but we're going to put a T12 on this. I was going to put that GX200 on it, but I already got a stage one kit, and that GX200, the valve guides were shot in it. So I'm going to save that for a future high horsepower build and just put a T12 on this mini bike with a stage one kit, and then we'll race it against the stage 3 79 cc which probably what's going to happen is the 212 will get it off the line but i'm hoping this has enough rpm in it to catch it by the end of the race that's probably what happened this, i clocked this thing at 46 miles an hour on gps so i'm happy with that number um so yeah, as soon as that motor plate gets here, I'm going to have to go get some tubing. Um, I'm going to have to replace the master cylinder for the brakes. I got one right there. There's master cylinder, new caliper, new brake pads. Make sure this thing can stop. Um, also going to have to get a kill switch. So yeah, kill switch, brakes. Um, I think I got one. For now, I'm probably just gonna leave these on it. I think I got one tube that leaks, so I'll just get a tube, um, pressure wash it, try to clean it up, paint it, and try to have this thing done before Christmas is the plan. My have this seat taken in somewhere, get it refinished one day, probably not anytime soon. I'll just pressure wash this 
and it'll look a lot better. Clean it up. It'd be, it'd be fun to cart when it's done. A lot simpler, easier to work on, <clears throat> more reliable. And I mean, it's going to be 212 cc's in this little cart right here. I might have to put a throttle stop on it for these kids. It's a small sprocket, it's a small sprocket with a tall tire. It's probably pretty fast. It's gonna leave the governor on it. 212, the way it comes from the factory. That'll be more than enough for them kids. But thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Hit that bell. You know the drill. Uh, I'll see you next time. Like I said, as soon as these, as soon as that motor plate, the engine, the clutch, all it comes in. I'll uh, be able to start welding stuff up. And see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.